it's like that and it's well worth watching. Now, the Chelsea Flower Show comes to an end tomorrow, but across London, people enjoy gardening all year round, of course, spreading the joys of bloom in their communities. Or well, someone who loves doing just that is Ellen, who's part of a guerrilla gardening group. Well, Thomas McGill can tell us what they do. Meet the guerrilla gardeners, rewilding their hackney neighbourhood one small plot at a time. Guerrilla gardening is the practice of adding plants to your neighbourhood in any suitable space, and a guerrilla gardener is simply someone who goes and plants in those public places. Ellen started planting flowers in small, unloved spaces near her home during lockdown. Having now transformed hundreds, she says there's power in plants. There are all kinds of studies that show if you're, there are dying plants around you, it can affect the way you feel, whether that's plants in your house or outside, um, because we obviously evolved over millennia surrounded by nature and um, with the mentality that thriving nature means that we're thriving too. So it actually can make a big difference um, how much nature you have around you to your mental and your physical health. These days, an army of green-fingered volunteers regularly get involved with all getting something different from the work. I think it's a way for me to connect to my culture, but also to the communities that are here. I think especially when you are an immigrant, um, you automatically feel like you don't belong. So being in nature really helps you find that sense of belonging. You never really know who you're going to meet when you're doing it. So it's nice to have that sense of um, community and shared purpose. So easy just to come down, spend half an hour, 45 minutes, you know, making a space look nicer and then, you know, go to the park, go to, the, you know, go sit at the beer garden. Yeah. It's a really nice thing to do with an afternoon. Well, the focus has very much been on Chelsea this week for anyone interested in gardening. But here in Lower Clapton, there's a feeling that this sort of space will create bigger and longer term benefits for everyone. And Ellen is keen to see others turn little corners of their communities into happy places and has this advice. The ideal guerrilla gardening spot has to be two things. One is nearby, so it has to be near to where you live. And the second thing it should be, as well as being nearby, it should be a neglected space. So you've got to find somewhere that is currently lifeless. Now the blooms are in, these gorillas are off to the next street corner in need of some love and attention. Thomas McGill, 